and it just annoys the hell out of me. Welcome to another episode of Mike Rants, in which our neighbor Mike Siegel rants about something. Take it away, Mike. Good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, whenever you're watching this. It's nice to see you. Um, this rant will be a little bit different. Um, I, I, I guess I change them every week, so I guess each rant will be a little bit different. Uh, I want to talk about arguing with people online. I want to talk about when you have an opinion, political opinion, social opinion, religious opinion, whatever your opinion is, you have an opinion online, first of all, we all have to realize you will change exactly zero minds. Nobody who disagrees with you will agree with you because of anything you wrote online. It's not going to happen. So is it worth even trying? Well, I enjoy the discussion. I enjoy the back and forth. But what happens is it always, or seems to almost always, develop down into an insult match after the initial argument takes place. And I remembered when I was, when I was in college, I, was, I, was, I went to a rally because the Pope was meeting that year with Yasser Arafat, who, uh, as far as I'm concerned, was a terrorist. He might have been elevated to statesman, but he was still a terrorist and a murderer, and we didn't want the Pope meeting with him. And we went to Midtown Manhattan somewhere, and again, this is college, it's a long time ago, and we, we had this rally to, against the Pope meeting with Arafat. And a guy came up to me and started defending the Pope, and he started talking to me about why the Pope should be allowed to do this, and, and I started saying back and forth about why he shouldn't be allowed to do this. And basically everything the guy said, he was mostly shouted down by the people around me. It was very similar to a social media Facebook argument or Twitter argument or some other argument that means nothing to anybody. And of course, when the argument got to the point where he had no more points to make, he hauled off and took a swing at me. Now, I was surrounded by 10 other people. I wasn't the fighter I am today, so he never actually got to me. He got tackled and put on the ground. Of course, I remember distinctly the news camera focused on us then, and the only part that was shown on the news was 10 Jews pushing this guy to the ground. But that's besides the point. When you have an argument on social media and you disagree with somebody, don't start calling them names. Don't start saying they're stupid or idiot or being insulting. Don't go that spot. Think about it from this point of view. We should be kind to each other. We can disagree, but we should be kind to each other. I just watched a debate. A friend of mine is running for, um, for uh, Congress in the 3rd District here on Long Island. Somebody, a very close family friend young man, and there were five people in this debate, there were four people in this debate, and they all said, we're not going to attack each other because we're all from the same party. And within five minutes, they were all attacking each other because it's a debate and they, wa they all wanted to win. If you're having a social media argument, you don't have to win. There is no win. You feel one way, I feel another way. Let's agree to disagree and move on and get on with our lives. Be kind to each other.